Okay, it's a knock knock joke. Yeah, okay. knock knock. Knock knock. Who's there? Or, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> okay. Hey, lovely humans. I'm Yara Shahidi. And I'm Charles Melton. And we're going to be playing, playing a, a game, game of I, I dare, dare you. you. So, let's get started. Sorted. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going first? Who's uh, there? Dear. <laughs> Tell us your favorite joke. Okay, what did one wave say to the other wave? Nothing. They just waved. I think what's funny is that it's so simple, it's complicated. What's your favorite karaoke song? Please sing a little. Mine is Gone in Spanish by NSYNC. Si no puedo mi corazón. And then he goes into English and he goes, And if I could just find a way. I'm surrounded by your embrace. Baby, I can feel the halo. You know you're my saving grace. <laughs> I may have kind of switched up the words a little bit, but... No. Uh, okay, tooth or dare? Dare. <laughs> Teach your co-star a dance. Oh, that's me. You can make it up. The book. Oh, Reading the book. It's my favorite. So, you just gotta mime it. Just kind of bounce, find your rhythm. You know, maybe to turn the page because... Just... Then you go back a couple of pages. I have to pull up my highlighter. Yeah. Ooh! Look at it. <laughs> you know what? I'll do a dare. Ooh, make up a rap on the spot about an embarrassing moment you had. Goodness, how did I get this one? Uh -huh. Dude, should I get a beat? I can't beatbox. You should try. Okay. We can be in this together. One day I said hi to this guy. I was a little scared, but I was looking fly, and it was going well till I ran into a pole. <laughs> truth, 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 okay. truth, truth. What's your biggest flaw? I think the fact that I'm thinking about it may make me seem like a little narcissist or just even this, but I'm really no. just, um, 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 I really can't think of anything. But it's like whenever you have like that, describe yourself. Like I, I feel like I can never do it justice. Mm -hmm. It's kind of embarrassing. I don't use toenail clippers. <laughs> I'm very confused. So do you just I, have very long? No. Toenails. I use my fingers. <laughs> Is that <laughs> I don't know, like I've seen everyone on my mom's side, like all my uncles, like my Sam Chuns and Emo Blues, like they're always like picking their toes like this, you know. Anyways, yeah. Uh, that was an embarrassing thing. I did two truths in one. Okay, I'll do a <laughs> truth. Embarrassing moment, please. Okay, what is the most interesting secret or thing you've learned about the person you're sitting with? Isn't that kind of personal? An interesting secret? Your knowledge of film? is so deep and the reason I say that is because not only did we go over the fact that you know the Goodwill Hunting monologue mm -hmm. and I think after our summer I knew it <laughs> um, but then when I watch how you approach a scene it's really cool to see just the references you'll pull like there are so many moments where you're like oh it's like this moment here mm -hmm. I love movies <laughs> bring your popcorn yeah. truth so thinking your first kiss how long had you been Building up to it, My what point. was it like? Oh, okay, you remember Christina that I was talking about earlier? Oh, wait, from first grade? Yeah. <laughs> it was during nap time. <laughs> and, so and they were playing, then Lion King was playing in the background and everyone was like sleeping. Wait, Lion King one or one and a half? Lion King one. Mm -hmm. Maybe, let's just say, Can You Feel the Love Tonight was playing. Yeah. And she called me, yeah, she called me over. Mm -hmm. She was underneath the table, like in her little nap section. And I was like, my heart was rushing because I'm like <laughs> in the first grade, like, what does she want? And she leaned in and she gave me a kiss on the cheek. And the next thing I know, Mrs. McCarridge pulls me out into the hallway because she's crying and she told Mrs. McCarridge that I kissed her on the lips. So I never kissed anyone ever again. <laughs> it made shooting very difficult. <laughs> I'll do a dare. Okay. Sing your favorite song, perhaps from childhood. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what? Tavelo, 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 then Mubarak, Mubarak. It's the, it's a um, happy birthday in Farsi. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Do you want to hear birthday in Korean? Yes. Sing a chuka hamida. Sing a chuka hamida. Sing a chuka hamida yara. Sing a chuka hamida. That's the best. Okay, truth or dare? Uh, dare. Act out both sides of your favorite film scene. See if the other person can guess what it's from. 
You see, the sad thing about a guy <laughs> like you is that in 50 years, you're going to start doing some things on your own. You're going to come up with the fact that there's two certainties in life. One, don't do that. And two, you, wasted. Dropped, you dropped, dropped 150 grand on a education. Beef, educa oh. on an education you could have gotten for $2 at the library? Good will hunting. Yes. Okay, truth or dare? Truth. Describe a time in your life when you had to overcome something. I remember in uh, school, I was uh, new to the school. I was advanced in math and they did not uh, want to put me in the proper math book. They fervently really needed me to prove that I was as accelerated as I said I was. Mm -hmm. For the first, I think, month of school, they just had me take a test every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like to go through every single chapter of every math book they had. Mm -hmm. And I did it and I ended up in the proper math book. But it was a small moment that I think is familiar to so many people, especially as, as people of color, yeah. when it's just like, just being underestimated in an Definitely. environment. Thing. So a test every day? <laughs> Truth. Truth? If you could trade places with your mom or dad for 24 hours, who would you pick and what would you do? Uh, my mom. Yeah, okay, what would you do? Just tell my dad what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Go cut the, go mow the lawn. Just a power trip? Yeah, just a power trip. Truth or dare? Truth. When you're 90, what would you like to say you have achieved? I'd like to really make sure that I'm committed to staying healthy and moving my body so that I can still be agile at 90. But I would like to say that I've either started a think tank or informed policy in some way. I'd like to have produced some poignant movies. Please and I'd like to be a dope producer. I'd like for my grandchildren to be like playing a retro song and hear like, Yara on the beat. Featuring a Yara Shahidi. Yeah, if Slim Shahidi don't trust you. <laughs> it was so fun playing with you, Teen Vogue. Thanks. Make sure. I'm so sorry. Th make sure. <laughs> you see, the sun is also a star. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah.